Namaste, this is Nuggy from GuardianTalesGuides.com and what we're going to do is go over our expedition first day plan and where that's going to start is the farm. So I don't usually buy things um, for Guardian Tales anymore just because my account is really strong and once it gets up to a certain point you don't really need to buy anything anymore, you're self-sustaining. That being said, um, I'm going to spend $25 to so get 2500 Sauna like a few hours before the patch hits. Because I want to walk into the expedition patch with a lot of stamina or coffee, whatever. Um, that being said, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to walk into your farm. You're going to do your whirlwindy thing or whatever it is you do. And you are going to grab some trees, resources from trees and rocks. You're going to build all these structures here, including 10 crop tiles. You'll get to five in, fifth, in I think, five days. You'll get five more. I think within the first two weeks, you're going to have 20... Um, 20 crop tiles, which is great. You'll notice that five seeds are planted here and you have 120 stamina before you can actually harvest those seeds. So every 120 stamina you spend will basically allow you to harvest every seed you have. So you can have 100 seeds going, whatever, 20, whatever your limit is. 120 stamina will take care of all of them so long as they're planted. Cool. Sounds good. So every time you harvest that stamina you're going to get magic powder from each seed that you harvest from magic powder gives one re-roll on a relic for the sub option that's going to be pretty crucial for the first few days of expedition eventually it you may have way more uh, re-rolls than you need most likely but whatever um, for the first day it's going to be crucial so every 120 sam you spend you'll come back to harvest then plant seeds that's just how it's going to work so, that being said, we're going to go over to Expedition now. And on Expedition, the first thing you need to know is there are requirements. Mystic Resistance. This one has no requirement. It's the very first trial. No requirement. On the second trial, it's 80 Mystic Resistance requirement. Third one, 320. Uh, Let's say if you want 80 mystery resistance, it's two or three pieces of gear, two or three relics. Super, super simple. Um, so that's no big deal. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to basically, you want to get at least, let's say, 250,000 per area in the first area. Um, every time you beat something, you get a relic, put it on your characters. And get your mystic resistance up. You're going to need a few of them to get through to the third trial. Don't sweep anything yet. Just keep playing it. If you go into it and you, like, if you're not going to get a high score, just go to the lobby. Like, you don't have to finish the level. If you finish the level, it'll take your Sam. If you go in and just hit lobby, like, you, you some people die, you know you're going to get a shitty score, you just hit lobby, you come back out, no Sam spent. The whole premise here is that only use your runs if they're really, really good. Otherwise, you're wasting stamina. So you're going to use, you're going to basically practice whatever it is you got to do to get up to 250 per level. And at that point, you'll get the rank, chosen, rank 7 chosen one candidate. That will allow you to go on to the second area. And this particular node is where we're going to stay for a while. You'll notice on the first one, you, your loot, you can get these four things. On the second district, though, you can get a few more. These things specifically. Now you need three of each to earn the next, or to earn the ability to go to the next district, which presumably has more interesting stuff. But this account hasn't gotten there. As you can see, I've played a decent amount, but I nowhere near how much stamina I'm proposing I spend. But I've only got one out of the nine. One out of the nine. So it, they take a little while to get. So you want to spend all your stamina here in this district. So you can constantly work on those, right? Um, this is also, it's going to have better stuff. So what you want to do, it's like 640 Mystic Resistance to get here. You're going to play this until you get the highest tier of loot from this, which I think is like, 290 or something like that or maybe 320 on this one once you hit that sweep and every time you sweep eight runs harvest go to your farm 
Harvest your seeds, plant more. Go back, eight runs. Harvest seeds, plant more, go back, eight runs. Because you, at this point, you're on the place that's going to get the best loot, whatever. You know, you on day one, do not plan to get to the third district. It's probably not going to happen unless you're super duper lucky. What you're really trying to do is maximize your loot pool by getting the highest threshold here, getting better loot, getting those drops, and making everything just really efficient. And then um, just, you know, every few sets, take your time to potentially, like, uh, make a relic set, or a very large relic set for, um, use as many rerolls as you can to obtain relic chance. Bump it up. Like, depending on how good your account is, you may be able to um, sack some damage to just ensure that obtain relic chance is high. Theoretically, you could have 5% obtain relic chance on every member, and since there's 20 members, you're looking at 60% increased chance to get a relic. Um, and I'm pretty sure that works on the sweeps. So that's super, super, super good. Um, and that's kind of what we're going for. Like, if you can get 6% relic obtain chance while sweeping the best loot and trying to get your candidacy at the same time, that's great. And I mean, like, if you're bored of doing that and you have some stamina or whatever and you've achieved what you wanted to, move on to the 5th and 6th trial. They're both boss trials. Um, you'll be obtaining other stuff along the way. You'll get all these little bits of loot here. Maybe you'll even get a few uniques. That'd be badass. Um, but yeah, like you hit threshold to get stuff. There's even curio, which is weird. Don't know. Whatever. But that's kind of how it all works. That's a day one plan. And then if you're really, really squirrely about it, you can wait till you get 20 crop tiles, which will happen within that two weeks. You can then spend $20 on 2,000 more stamina and then just blow all that stamina on more expedition runs to get those um, to get those crops, right? Or just to, to make your reruns there or to get your uh, reruns. Maybe you've actually got to the next district at that point. Use your 2000 Sam to just bust through that. The whole thing is just make sure you're getting your rerolls, harvest every 120, and you should be just fine. And if you... Take the time in between runs to set up good relic sets for your groups. Maybe your kill relic or your third group is your kill group, kind of like mine. And with that group, you stack boss damage, and then with another the other runs, you do relic chance obtainment. I mean, whatever it is, uh, just pay a little bit more attention. You should notice some notice some uh, improvement. Just understand this is not expedition is not super easy. Uh, I've got a pretty nice account over here. It's not great, but it's pretty nice. I'm just 600 million in a raid, but you'll see my scores. I still even haven't even hit the uh, the cap on the zones, even on the first one. And these ones straight up kick my ass. So there's a video of me trying to work through that one. But anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, good luck in your first day of expedition.